Triple G, a third judge, gave rules round two. I know Chris Mannix gave rules the second round, just an unofficial scorecard. And turn us to you first, fighting out of the blue corner with his trainer, Ryan Grant. Wearing white, trimmed in gold, he weighed it officially 163 and three quarter pounds. In 19 professional bouts, he enters the ring tonight, perfect as a professional. 19 victories, no defeats, 10 wins coming by way of knockout from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Here is the undefeated Steve, Mr. And across the ring stands his opponent, who tonight makes his return to the ring after nine months. With his trainer, Jonathan Banks, he wears tonight red trunks. Weighing in officially 163 pounds and 40 professional bouts. His record, an impressive and outstanding one. 38 victories, just one defeat. One bout even, 34 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here's the middleweight, K.O. King from Canada. Nine months off matches a career high for Golovkin tonight in round one. Well, he talked to talk, now it's time to walk to walk because he has a monster in front of him in Golovkin. Golovkin claims the center of the ring. He is a master of space and distance and has tremendous power with both hands. Rounded gym rep, he's undefeated, but I'm curious to see how he's going to react once he gets by Gennady Golovkin. Lufkin with the lead hook. Conventional things. He sees things in the ring, Sergio, that others... Very patient, poised puncher. He doesn't waste punches. If he's not in position, he will not throw a punch. Roll started boxing at 17, turned pro at the age of 26. So he is 19-0. He gets the big shot. Maybe not at the title, but at the former champ and one of the elite fighters in the world. Stationary target for Golovkin, too. I kind of expected Rolls to move a little bit more in the early rounds. He's there for Golovkin. Rolls flashing out a jab, able to move forward behind it. Measuring Golovkin, at least keeping him at bay. Defensive. But a lot of excitement at the return of Gennady Golovkin here as he starts. Deal with DAZN in June. That, of course, after Canelo Alvarez signed to DAZN. He's with the breaking deal, and everything points toward a third fight. Not a done deal. We will talk about that, including in the post-fight show. Working out there with the other piece of the middleweight title. He wants Golovkin as much as he wants. Fire, 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 fire. What's this? What's this? Well, he was laying on the right badly there, too, Sergio. I saw that, and that is a bad place to be. Golovkin goes to the bottom. Got one hand. Get to the right Moves in with the right hand, and then the hook. Golovkin saw an opportunity, tried to take advantage, but missed. Rolls savvy enough to move his head. And that's round one. About Ruiz, Joshua, that premieres tonight on DAZN, and you will look at that whole fight in a whole right there, Jonathan Banks. But I expect him to pick it up here because he has a fighter in Rolls. Get kind of the nerves out of your system. Now he's just in a fight again. The problem is, Steve Rolls said coming into this fight, he thought Golovkin was susceptible to the body shot. I haven't seen too much of that, at least not in the first for, uh, round plus. Rolls strong jab. Our right hand to the body and springs to the side nice. Okay, two straight right hands to the body. Of course, just as I say that, he goes to the body. There's another one by Golovkin. By Rolls as well answering that as Golovkin lands the hook to the body of Rolls. Rolls in the white trunk. And I agree with Rolls. Uh, if you're going to fight a monster like Golovkin, you got to go to the body. I tell you, Golovkin down with both hands to the side. Landing body shots. And he has a variance in velocity and impact, Sergio. He doesn't throw one type of shot. He has a variance. Tack to the body early and then dig in when he sees fit. Rolls moving forward. Good shot by Steve Rolls right there. Landing a good right. Golovkin flicking out a jab and then a hook. Two hooks. And steps back and away. You know, Golovkin is so subtle in his moves. Able to move out right hands and a hook combination from Golovkin on the way in. Rolls doesn't look hurt yet. 
Answers back now with his own combination. Fires out and lands a left hand. Good jab by Rolls after the right. And a right hand as well. You have to like what you see from Rolls. And he came back at Golovkin. He's given. He's taking and given, so you gotta give credit to the final 30 seconds of round two. Golovkin, of course, I've never seen him hurt in his body by Golovkin. Rolls moves forward again, gaining a little bit of time. Another hook to the body by Triple G. Body shot by Rolls. Fires off a right hand at the end of round two. Get the water, Tony. Get, get, get the water. I got it here. You don't see that often is that man right there, Golovkin, getting hit. Grazing right hand, it was that left hook that really shook up, but it was this punch right here that snapped his head back. It was the right hand, but the left jab that snapped Golovkin's head back. And that's what they meant by the one-two-one. Jab, but not right the hand. one in return. And I wasn't sure I was going to ask this during the main event. Chris Maddox, how have you scored it so far? I have an even now. Good second round for Steve Rolls. Looked very confident here. But your first fight with a new trainer can often be problematic. History has shown that with fighters. Sometimes things get lost in translation. Uh, outlanded by Golovkin. I, I wondered if you'd give him round two. Sergio, do you agree with that? We're not scoring it. No, I agree because it was the, the snapping shot that really caught the eye-catching shot. I to it thinking, hey, the guy that we didn't think would have much success is having success. Let's give him the round. That is not how they're supposed to behave. Golovkin trying to come around the glove with that left hook like he landed on Rubio. When you have a fighter that keeps his hands up like that, you either go around or down. Golovkin always patient, picking his shots, Here's a free but does yeah, have a puzzle in front of him and rolls it responsibly. Defense, sound, boxing very well. It at least stalls the Ooh. offense. There's a right hand by Rolls. Offense by Golovkin. That was a nice counter right. That was a really good counter right by Rolls. We're going to have to really start paying attention to these rounds and how they're scored. You wonder if Rolls is able to win these rounds. That was good by Golovkin. Golovkin has also landed. There's no question. But we expected dominance. We have it. But Steve Rolls of Toronto coming in has never fought any. The small thing too, Brian, but Golovkin fighting this fight at 160. Only surprising in that he is a little undersized for a middleweight, but he wanted those four extra pounds. Let's go to Claudia. Trey. Rose land another right hand. It's a counter right hand. He dipped his head to the left side, landed. Illusions, but he bring the same fire into the ring. And you know Canelo Alvarez is watching this fight, and you have to wonder what's on his possible future opponent. Rolls busy with the cleaner shots. Rolls again just landed with a hook, just touched him to the face, but able to land now and have. They are still calling out for him to use the jab. Golovkin now. Firing out his left and a right hand. Golovkin will beat you down. The elbows of Rose. Golovkin built his reputation knockout by knockout. 23 in a row between two. Rolls' corner is saying if you want to fight of every round to hang with Triple G. That buckled him there. That's the same shot that hurt Mark Antoine. Golovkin now backs up, and yes, a right hand to the head. Rolls does look rock. Hook to the head as well, and he's hurt on wobbly legs. And he's been hooking a right hand over the top. And hook landed, and down goes Rolls in a heat. This might be over already. He's pinned down. Rolls looks up. That's your answer. Last week, Andy Ruiz landed a left hand to the temple of Anthony Joshua. The fight, there was a left hand to the temple of Steve Rolls that changed this fight. Rolls was... And here's that shot that I told you about. That was a chopping right hand that he landed But that rocked Rolls right there because he didn't expect that coming. You don't often do it. He did it with Rubio when he fought him at the stop hub. And boom, there's that left hook. And when a fighter falls from his body, underneath his body, pinned down there, Rolls did everything he could to try to regain like hand. And then that vicious hook. There it is, top of the head again. Body shot. And you see the patience of Golovkin. And there you go. Measured, always poised. Oh, two minutes, nine seconds. Round number four. Referee Steve Willis puts a halt to this bout for your winner.
by KO Victory from Karaganda, Kazakhstan, Triple G! Sergio Moore, let me ask you right now your feelings on the performance. made a career by knocking out fighters like this, fighters that aren't really A-level.